This is one of multiple videos discussing Osteonado. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Osteonado to inject bridge protocol data units or BPDUs into a network to disrupt a spanning tree topology. Since I posted my video, Osteonado Part 8, demonstrating how to generate Wireshark BPDUs, Bernard has updated the Osteonado appliance in the GNS3 marketplace to support Wireshark. That gives us a lot of options because now we can import PCAP files and easily reproduce packets rather than manually trying to craft them. So at the moment I'm running 0.8 of the Osteonado appliance and in this example I'm using GNS3 2.0. So what I'm going to do is delete that template and I'm going to download the new version of the Osteonado appliance. To do that go to the marketplace on the GNS3 website, go to appliances and search for Osteonado. Click the Osteonado drone and click download template. In this example, I'm using GNS3 on a Mac, but the process is very similar on Windows. To import the new appliance, go to File, Import Appliance, select the Osteonado GNS3 appliance and click Open. Some information about the appliance is shown here. Bernard is the appliance maintainer. And thanks to him for updating the appliance. Click Next. GNS3 appliances should run on the GNS3 VM. And that's what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to click Next. I'm told that the GNS3 server requirements are OK. So I'm going to click Next. Now at the moment I have the old QCOW2 files on my computer. But I don't have the new ones. So I'm going to click on the missing file and click Download. The file is automatically downloaded to my local computer. So I'm going to click Refresh so that GNS3 scans the download directory. And in this example, it's found the new files. So I can click on the updated appliance and click Next to install it. So I'm asked, do I want to install this appliance? And the answer is yes. QMU settings are displayed. I'm going to stay with the defaults and click Next. Some information about the appliance is displayed. The great thing about using GNS3 appliances, you don't need to know the configuration options. They've been pre-configured for you. Notice the console type is VNC. If you're using a Mac like I am, you may want to watch the video where I explain how to download chicken of the VNC. Click Next. We're told that the appliance is available in the guest category. Now this is important. Interfaces start with Ethernet 1 as traffic interfaces. Ethernet 0 is only for optional management of the drone. So we're not going to use Ethernet 0, we're going to use Ethernet 1. Click Finish. We're told that the appliance is now installed. And under End Devices, I have the new Osteonada drone. So what I'll do is drag a switch to the topology and connect Osteonado using Ethernet 1 to the switch. And I'll start up both these devices and open up a console. So here's the Osteonado drone. Notice we have both Osteonado as well as Wireshark installed in this new appliance. So that's great because it means we can now capture traffic off the wire and then import the PCAP files into Osteonado. So my switch is now booted. So all I'm going to do is configure a host name of switch one and use the command show spanning tree to view spanning tree information of VLAN one. Notice gigabit 00 is in the learning state. So do that again, show spanning tree, ports are now forwarding, the local switch is the root. 
of the spanning tree. So in the Ostionado drone, we can go to Wireshark and click Capture Interfaces. And don't forget, we need to select Ethernet 1 in this example. That's the interface that we've used to connect to the switch. So we can already see some spanning tree BPD use. So I'll stop the Wireshark capture at this point. We can see information such as 802.3 Ethernet. We can see the destination address is spanning tree. This is the source MAC address. We can see destination service access point, service access point. And within spanning tree, we can see information such as the root identifier and bridge identifier. In Wireshark, I'm going to go to File, Export Specified Packets. I'm going to export this as spanning tree 1. Just make the screen bigger so we can see everything. I'm only going to export the selected packet. And notice this option. We need to specify PCAP. So make sure that you specify PCAP. When you export, press Enter to export the file. So now in Ostionado, I'm going to select port 0, Ethernet 1, and go to File, Open Streams. We're going to select PCAP. And there's our file that we saved. Click Open. Click OK to use Intelligent Import. And that's it. Double click on the cog. And notice all the protocol options are selected for us. So under Protocol Data, notice destination and source MAC addresses. 802.3 is selected. Logical link control is configured. Spanning tree is configured. So it was as simple as that to get a Wireshark capture into Ostionado. And we have all the information here. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change some of the options to get Ostionado to become the root of the spanning tree. So I'm going to set the source MAC address to that. 802.3 will leave the same. Logical link control will leave alone. In spanning tree now, we want to change the priority and we want to change the root MAC address. The priority of this bridge is going to be zero. The MAC address of this bridge is going to be one. I'm going to change the port priority to zero, number to zero. Other options I'll leave as they are, but now under variable fields, spanning tree, I'm going to change the BPDU flags to increment so that it changes the BPDU flags sent into the network. Under stream control, I'll set to this to send a thousand packets at one packet per second into the network. This is what our Ostionado packet looks like. Destination address, source address, 802.3, logical link control, spanning tree information, Root identifier is this, bridge identifier is this, port identifier is this, and so forth. Click OK. Now make sure that you click Apply, and then click the port number, 00, which is Ethernet 1, and then you can start generating frames. But before I do that, once again, the Cisco switch is the root of the spanning tree. Click Play. What we see is that some frames are being generated into the network. And after a while, we see that the route has changed to a switch with this MAC address. So previously, the local switch was the route of the spanning tree, but now Ostionado is the route of the spanning tree. Notice the route port is gigabit 00. zero. The cost to get to the root switch is 4. The port to use to get to the root switch is gigabit 00. zero. Whereas previously, all ports were designated. We now have a root port and designated ports. So that's an example of how you can capture traffic off the wire using Wireshark. Save the PCAP file and import it into Ostionado and then get Ostionado to generate frames based on the frames that you've captured. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.